What's up guys, Fjet here. This was my league starter and I completed my atlas, collected all the voice stones and beat most of the non uber bosses invitations, including the field and the other harder invitations. Let's see what things we got on the damage side. Our skill choice is explosive trap. You will throw traps and this will explode 8 times by default. All the explosions can hit the same enemy. This is where our DPS coming from and the numbers of traps. When you look at the path of building, you can set how many explosions hitting the target. This is new and thanks to the community for that. It's good to see this. I'm set it to average explosions because most of the enemy is has a small hitbox. The build can now use 4 curses thanks to the Anathema unique ring because we have 4 maximum power charge. So our curse limit is 4. Our curses is the following. Flammability, this will lower the enemy fire resistance. Elemental weakness, we will reuse even more the fire resistance. And we using a defensive curse, and feeble. Enemies will deal less damage to us. We applying these curses with one single button or canis brand. We can even use a mark, assassin mark. This will increase the critical chance and the critical damage the target take. We can easily generate power and frenzy charges if our enemies is triggering the traps. We also taking trickster for extra 2 maximum frenzy charges. With this we can have 5 frenzy charge and we pairing with charger trap support to get our trap throwing speed fast as possible. I have a few bad news for those who don't like the giant swapping. You need gen swap for the tougher bosses because we using cluster trap and increase our effects for clear. Also I wanted to address a very big problem with the build. The traps cost so much mana so we have to use mana flask with enduring mode and reduce skill cost during flask effect. That's why you see two mana flask in our bar. Also this is why there is no uber boss skills right now because we can't sustain the mana flask and we running out mana fast and we can't deal damage if we don't have mana. But the good news news is, I will solve this problem for the uber tanker version. On the defensive side, because we choose trickster, we have access a really interesting node, one step ahead. This will lower the enemy action speed and if we pairing with summon skitter bots, the enemy will move like a snare, giving us enough time to react. Also worth to mention, you don't have to worry about the freeze and chill immunity, because it's also increasing your base action speed. Also worth to mention, with Trickster we cut a cycling defensive layer. Every 5 seconds we take less damage from hits and the other 5 seconds we take less damage from the damage over time effects. I did not have any problem with that, because I designed the build the way if you hit the damage taken is not up, you can also tonk almost everything. So when you take a hit and the big damage reduction buff is up, you will be just happy about it. I did not want to pay attention to the top left of the screen when you can tonk or not. So I just wanted to let you know, you don't have to worry about this. Using Grace Aura for evasion rating, so we almost can die from the monster's basic attacks or projectile. Because we using Grace, we can use Ghost Dance Keystone. When we take a hit, we will recover 3% of our evasion rating as energy shield. And we can do this 3 times in a row, before the stacks recharge. We will not use the termination in Crucible. They nerf the Molten Shell, because now to benefit from this guard skill like before the patch, you need double amount of armor in your build, which is almost impossible for a trickster. So now we will use Immortal Core for our guard skill with cost when damage taken. Few words about having nearly zero fizz mitigation. We using the body armor crop, so we can take 12% of physical damage as elemental damage. It's not too much but enough to keep us alive even versus big fist hits like Shaper Slam. Because we have almost 80% chance to avoid attacks, I'm not worrying too much about physical damage because we just evade the attacks but if we get a hit the other defensive layers will come in handy so we can recover easily. Now we almost can be touched by physical attacks, only danger left for us is the spell damage but we have a solution for this, using spell suppression from the tree and we have 61% suppression alone from the tree so the remaining percent is easy to cap. It was my league starter, so I didn't have access to fancy stuff. Would like if you hit the like button, like the shaper hitting the adder, so it can start spread to more people. Thank you. Few important things you need in the build. Aim on your weapon and your shield, plus one fire or physical spell skill gems. Spell crit, spell damage or fire damage increase. My crucible tree is not even good as you can see here. I'm trying to get better one, but I did not hit a single good node that worth to craft, so I'm using this. 
The shield is self-crafted. I bought the base with fractured mod and spammed Sparkrit Essence till I got this. For the Crucible tree, little bit of extra energy shield and allocating safeguard. This gives us a little bit of resistance. On your amulet also needs to be plus one to fire or physical skill gems. I just bought mine, I didn't craft it. Our anointment is high voltage, increasing the crit against shocked enemies. Because we using skitter bots, our enemies will be always shocked. Anathema unique ring. We with this ring we can use 4 curses because we have 4 maximum power charges from or 3. Also give us int and a little bit of energy shield. The following implicits you can craft with the Erdish currency. Spam till you get the following. On your helmet increase mana reservation efficiency of your skills. You need at least 8% otherwise you can't use your aura. The other mod is increased flammability effect. Worth to mention you need explosive trap cause two additional smaller explosion enchantment. On your body armor, Zero 3 has increased aura effect and increased effect of non-curse auras. A little side note here, you can use the gain endurance charge mod every 10 seconds if there is a unique enemy nearby. I wanted to use that but I did not get it, so if you get it, it will increase your physical medication. On your gloves, drop throwing speed and the other mod is spell suppression chance. But you can use here inflict fire exposure on hit. On your boots, gain physical damage as extra fire damage and drops brittle ground. This will increase the critical chance against the enemy. I just want to highlight a few things on the passive tree that you need for the build. We using 8 passive caster jewel with iron breaker, battle hardened and force multiplier, medium caster jewel with surprise sabotage and careful handling, aura caster jewel with sublime form. The rest of the jewels is real with life and critical strike multiplier with fire skill and resistance. We taking Trickster as our ascendancy in your first lap, one step ahead, this will increase your auction speed so you will move faster and throw traps faster. Second lap, take Swift Killer, there is nothing really to tell about this, just extra few frenzy charges. Third lap, Polymath, sadly from this node we only gain the more damage parts, the others does not apply to us because the traps killing the enemies not weak. Last lap, Hearthstopper, this is our defensive part. Gem and gem link, starting with our main link, either body armor, explosive trap, trap and mind damage, concentrated effect, added fire damage, Charger traps, Swift assembly. When you doing maps, you swapping out the Swift assembly support to cluster trap. The conk effect increase the rare effect. In our gloves, or aura setup, enlighten level three, summon skitter bots, zero three, and grace. In our boots or curse setup, arcanist brand, flammability, and feeble elemental weakness. We applying this free curse with arcanist brand. In our shield, our cost one damage taken setup, increased duration, cost one damage taken level 3, and immortal call level 5. In our helmet, or movement skill setup, flame dash, faster casting, arcane surge, and second wind. In our weapon, herald of ash, assassin's mark, and beer trap. Beer trap will increase the damage the enemy take from more traps. I hope you enjoyed this video about Explosive Trap Trickster. If you have any question, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, I was Pudget, see you next time guys!